Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a Discord bot uh, that will automatically share your Twitter tweets onto a Discord channel for a server that you manage. Uh, this is made pretty simple due to the fact of how Discord will try to embed a link or data from a link, whether that is a link to a video, they'll embed that video, or in today's case, if it's a Twitter tweet, it'll actually embed the entire tweet uh, inside of the discord uh, chat so it works really great uh, and it's pretty simple to do uh, due in part to how they embed but also due to the tools that uh, if this then that provides so i'll be going through the entire process today it should be a pretty quick video on how to automatically share your twitter tweets to your discord channel so before without further delay let's go ahead and jump right to it All right, so to start this tutorial, head over to ifttt.com, uh, which if you've never used uh, this web service before, ifttt stands for if this, then that. And I have a video kind of covering some of the basics on this, so uh, go to my channel and search for that if you have never used ifttt.com. I am gonna assume you know some of the basics of this. So if you do not, have never used this, uh, I do recommend just trying, checking out that video. The uh, specific use case might not apply to you, um, but it, I do go a little bit more in depth into the IFTTT side of uh, this tutorial. So to go ahead and start, click on your user and click new applet. And now we're gonna choose the this action. So I'm gonna choose Twitter because I want uh, it to be triggered when I make a new tweet. So when there's a new tweet by me, and I'm only going to include uh, brand new tweets from me, so fresh tweets, uh, not things that I retweet or uh, things that I have replied to. And I'm going to go ahead and create that trigger. So now every time I make a new tweet, uh, this service will automatically trigger from now on, and it's going to do the that part. So for the that part, there isn't really a direct integration to Discord, but what we do have is webhooks. So you're going to want to search for webhooks. Uh, it will automatically come up because it filters very quickly. Um, but once you uh, see this icon and that says webhooks, you'll want to click on that. And you're going to cr click the button to create a, uh, make a, a web request. So if it detects a new Twitter uh, tweet, it's going to make a web request. So now we have to jump over to Discord uh, to do that part of the tutorial. And then we'll jump back uh, to IFTTT to finish things up. To do the Discord uh, portion of this video, I went ahead and made a test server simply because the uh, link we're about to generate does contain sensitive data that would allow other people to create a Discord bot for your server if they were given access to the full link. Uh, so once again, just keep in mind, the link we're about to create isn't something you're going to share publicly and it was something you would only want to give uh, to another leader uh, or someone that you consider a leader of your server. So on the channel that you want uh, this to automatically be posted to, um, so I'm just going to post this to my testing channel. Uh, you're going to want to highlight that uh, channel and you'll see a gear icon that says edit channel. Go ahead and click on that and then you'll see a option to, towards the bottom of this left hand panel that says webhooks. Go ahead and click create webhook. And the first thing you're given is the option to give this uh, webhook a name. Uh, this, when it posts, will show up as a bot. Uh, and But it won't be listed in your right hand side. But when it posts, it will also have a little bot icon. Uh, and other people will be able to see this name. So give it a name that you want other people to see. And also give it a name so it makes it easy for you to uh, know which webhook does what. So you can call this the tweet bot. Or, you know, you can do it tweets, you know, tweets by Zach or tweets by TV Tech or whatever you wanted to do uh, for your use case. Now you can choose the uh, channel. If you accidentally click the wrong one, you can choose which channel this bot applies to. And th this data right here, it will dictate where this bot will post to. It can only post to a single channel. I will in the future be going over a bot that has a uh, has more complex abilities and you can send commands to it and is more than just a one way uh, from one service to another. But for things like Twitter, uh, if this and that is the simplest way to get your tweet um, posted over onto Discord. After that, you can upload an image. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to my desktop real quick and just choose the Twitter icon or Twitter logo. Uh, for this webhook. So this bot, when it posts, will have 
the name uh, Tweets by TV Tech, and it will have this icon for its avatar. Uh, that way people know that it's essentially just a tweet. And now here's the webhook that I was talking about earlier. This URL is something that you're not going to want to share with anyone that you don't consider a leader of your server. So go ahead and click copy. And now we're pretty much done with the Discord side. Uh, there's not a lot to it. Um, creating a webhook essentially allows us to do everything else on the IFTTT side. So we're going to go ahead and jump back to um, the internet browser and uh, jump back to if this then that to finish out this tutorial. We're going to take off where we left off on, uh, over on if this then that. And in the URL field, we're going to paste that Discord link we just copied uh, into the URL field. And as for the method, you're going to choose post. The content type, you're going to choose application slash JSON. And for the body, all you need to do is choose the link to tweet. And this will just post a link to your tweet onto your Discord channel that you chose earlier. Uh, due to the way that Discord will try to embed a link, this will actually embed the entire tweet. And uh, for a lot of different services, uh, you can kind of walk through the same general process for different services uh, like YouTube or something like that. I might do uh, videos on those too, but it's just kind of the same general process. Um, but if you do the embedded code, a lot of times that will not work. Um, so and, and Discord will automatically embed content. So just go ahead and use the link to tweet. Uh, if you want to, you can use, mix this with text in association with a link. So you can uh, choose out, um, you know, uh, here's my latest tweet. And then it'll post a link to the tweet. I'm going to use that. It'll post a link to the tweet uh, onto your channel. And then Discord will automatically take that link and also put a, an embedded uh, view of your tweet underneath that too. Just to finish this video up, I just wanted to give a real world demonstration of what this Twitter uh, bot slash webhook will look like on your Discord server. So you can see here when I made this webhook, and this is the one I have on my real server, so it's been going for a couple weeks now. Uh, but you can see here that I've given it a custom uh, avatar, which is the Twitter logo. I've given it a custom name, and it does show that it is a bot here, but it will never show up here on the right hand side. In mine, all I have it doing is just posting the link. And then what Discord does, it'll automatically go to that link and try to grab an, something to embed onto your Discord, uh, a preview of some sort. Uh, since Twitter's a huge social media site, uh, they have that embed worked out flawlessly. So you can see here it grabs my um, Twitter username, my Twitter handle, uh, and then it grabs my the text from uh, my Twitter post. And of course, anytime you share a link on Twitter, Twitter will, Twitter will automatically change that link to a twitter.co link uh, with a bun bunch of random characters after that. Uh, that's their link shortener. Uh, so it'll automatically convert your link to the Twitter link shortener uh, link here. Uh, and then you'll just see that it does say it's from Twitter. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you found it enjoyable. If you did, give it a big like. And also, if you're not already an existing subscriber, uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to be notified as I release new videos. I will be doing a couple videos like this in the near future using If This Then That and using the Discord uh, webhooks to create uh, pretty simple Discord bots. And I also will be doing a more complete uh, tutorial on making a completely custom Discord bot that you can actually send commands to. Uh, so I'll be doing a big walkthrough on that in sometime in the future. That'll be a little bit farther off though. So thanks for watching guys. And until next time, Zach out.